to enjoy some at home doing this flow, rolling out your mat and inviting everyone around you to come and join you, or perhaps finding a little bit of time out for yourself. What I'm hoping though is through the practice of this yoga and the things you're embodying, it's going to help you deal with all that's going on out there in the big wide world, because that's what yoga does. It's completely transformational, it centres you, grounds you, and hopefully helps you to find an inner joy through the physical movement of your body and the deep calming breath. It will centre you and hopefully make you feel a little bit more connected and grounded. So enjoy today's flow. You're going to start standing on the top of your mat. So you just come to the top, have your feet hip width distance apart. You don't want your bottom sticking out and equally you don't want it sticking too far forward. You want a nice neutral pelvis. So on the in-breath, just reach up to the sky. Look up, inhale. As you exhale, the hands are going to pass through your heart and you're going to fold forward. Drop the head. And just allow the blood to sink down. You may want to soften your knees. Just allow your chest to rest on your thighs. And then inhale and lengthen the front body. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the thighs. Feel the crown of the head extend away from your shoulders. Breathing in. And then exhale, fold. Place your hands on the mat and just step back to a high plank position and pause. Shoulders over wrists, drive the heels away. And feel the crown of your head lengthen forward. Breath in. And out. Bend the knees. Push back. Child's pose. Rest the forehead on the mat. Move gently side to side. Peel yourself up. Open across your chest. Tailbone lifting. Breath in. As you exhale, round to the spine, sink your hips back over your heels. Inhale, sweep up, open across the chest, looking up to the sky. Exhale, round through your spine and allow it to sink back. One more time. Inhale, open through the heart. Exhale, curl the toes. Press back, downward facing dog. So just be very gentle, moving your body side to side, waking it up. Maybe you've been sitting down for a while, or you've just woken up. Whatever you've been doing, just be very gentle on your body, and then just come into stillness. Lift all ten toes, then come high up onto the toes, peeling forward to high plank, pause. Push yourself back, downward facing dog, hips lifting, thighs pull back, draw the lower belly in. Inhale, come forward, stacking shoulders over wrists, breathe. Exhale, push yourself back. Now just sweep your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open through the hip, flexing the foot, inhaling, and then exhale, allow the right leg to drop back behind you, extend the left leg long, lift that right hand back away from you, lifting the hips to the sky, inhale, and then exhale. Now very smoothly, you're going to come onto the toes of the left foot, the right hand comes down, the right knee is going to come forward to your nose, exhale, inhale, extend long. Exhale, right knee to the right shoulder, extend the leg wide, breathing, and then take it up. Right knee to the left shoulder, twisting, extend it out to the side, pause, and take it up to the sky, breathe. Exhale, draw the knee forward to the nose, inhale, extend long. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands, pause in your lunge, slowly rise, inhaling. And exhale. Now you can always drop the knee here to modify, or you extend it long. Now inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go wide with your arms. Inhale, reach up and pause. Exhale, go wide. And then open into a twisted lunge. So that's this way. <laughs> Right arm back, left arm forward, and draw your left hip forward and your right hip back. So squeezing in and lengthening up through the crown of your head. Now really reach, inhale, and then exhale, allow the right hand to go back onto your leg. Let's give it a dust, not really sure where that came from. Dust your leg, and then reach your left arm up to the sky. Sink down, a bit wobbly, so really press down, reach, 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 looking up, inhaling. And then as you exhale, bring the left hand down and sweep the right arm up to the sky. Inhale. And then exhale, opening. Right hand comes down, right leg goes back, downward facing dog. Inhale. And then exhale, just sweep the left leg up. Bend the knee. Open through your hip. Maybe you 
you stay here on your three-legged dog, or maybe you flip. Extend the right leg along and reach to the left fingertips. Spread the fingers wide, inhale. And exhale, lift the hips a little bit higher. Inhaling. And then exhale, just gently, smoothly, lift the left leg up to the sky. Draw the left knee to the nose. Take it up and away from you. Draw the left knee to the left elbow and extend the leg along out to the side if you can. Or keep the knee bent. Take it up to the sky. Exhale, twist. Knee to elbow. Extend the leg long. Breathe. Then take it up to the sky. Then come forward. Knee to nose. Round and pause. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, step it between your hands. Pause. Inhale, reach up. High lunge. Remember, you can also drop the back knee. Or keep it lifted. And then inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the elbows, open through the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, rise and lengthen. Exhale, bend the elbows, open through the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend, open, inhaling. And then exhale, hands come to prayer. And then twist to open the left hand back behind you, right arm reaches forward. Inhale, exhale. Allow the hand to dust the back of your thigh. Reach up with the right hand, reaching over, lengthening. Feel a beautiful stretch down your right flank. Inhale. And then exhale, allow the right hand down. Left hand to the sky, reach up, inhale. Exhale, open. Take the left hand down, step the left leg back. Pause, high plank. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the right knee to nose. Take it back. Draw the left knee to nose. Take it back. Right knee. Left knee. Keep doing this. Moving slowly. It's like a very slow mountain climb. And just breathing, exhaling. Point the toes. Good. Keep moving. Four. Three. Two. One, hold, drop the knees, bend the elbows, lie down, inhale, lift the chest, lift the kneecaps, press the tops of the feet down into the mat, maybe lift the hands, breathing, inhale, exhale, lie down, inhale, rise up again, cobra, perhaps lift the hands, this time maybe lift the legs too, bring them together, fan the toes, Inhale, gaze is down. Exhale, hands come down, curl the toes. Come back into child's pose. Draw the arms along the side of the body and uncurl the toes and just rest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reach the arms forward. Curl the toes under. Come into downward facing dog. Breath in and sigh. Bend the knees. You can step or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to standing. Bend the knees. This time, take the right leg over the left leg, coming into eagle, and the right arm comes under the left arm. Sink down, draw the shoulders back, and engage the lower belly. Really, really breathe and squeeze. Now extend the right leg long back behind you, coming forward, still with eagle arms. Pause. Flex the right foot, fan the toes. Now reach the arms forward and interlace the fingers, warrior three. Gaze is down, get the upper arm squeezing around the ears. Keep pressing back, inhale. Exhale, draw the arms back, coming into aeroplane. Open through the chest, inhaling. Exhale. One more, lift a little bit higher. And then bend the right knee in towards the chest. Give it a big squeeze, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then release the right leg down. Swap sides. This time draw the left knee in. Squeeze, wrap it over the right. Eagle on the left side. The left arm comes under the right arm. It doesn't ever matter if you can't hook your foot. You can just rest it on the top. And just breathe, inhaling and exhaling. It also doesn't matter if you can't do all these poses right now. It will just come with practice and you're at home so it doesn't really matter if you fall over and no one really cares and I'm not watching you. <laughs> so you can do what you like. Breathe and 
squeeze. And now extend your left leg back behind you. Extend it long. Good. Pointing the toes down. Now reach the arms forward, coming into your warrior three. Upper arm squeezing around the ears. Extend the sole of that right foot, left foot, sorry. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, arms come back to your airplane. Imagine my hands are under your hands. And you are pressing down into them. And you are lifting your chest as you lift your left leg a little bit higher. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend the right knee. Draw the left knee in towards your chest. Give it a big old squeeze and then release and pull. Inhale and sigh. Inhale, reach your arms up, bring them forward and parallel to the earth, roll the shoulders back, come up onto the toes. Slowly, having high on those toes, lifting the heels, you're going to slide down an imaginary wall. Slowly, navel to spine and now pull. Inhale. Exhale, inhaling, and then exhale, sink a little deeper, drop the heels, allow the tail to drop, lift the legs up, coming into your boat. So stage one of boat, hands behind you, stage two, just support your thighs, stage three, maybe your arms are wide and you can lift your legs. Just pause, inhaling, exhaling, lower the feet, wrap the forearms around the fronts of the shins, and press the spine away from you. Good, we're going to take another boat. This time it's going to work your spine a bit more. So if you've got a tender back, stay here or have your hands supporting you. Otherwise, you're going to put your hands behind your head, you're going to extend your left leg long, and you're going to twist to the right knee, and then you're going to come back to centre and twist. So keep moving one side, then the other. Keeping your back as straight as you can as you twist left and then right. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pause, lower the feet, wrap the arms, round to the spine, do a lovely stretch in the middle of your back, fantastic, and then sit up nice and tall, place the hands down behind you and just gently peel your spine down to the earth. Gorgeous. So if you've got a block, fantastic, here, or a book, Harry Potter volume, I think the fourth book is perfect size. Squeeze it between your legs, and you're gonna take a bridge. So you just press down with your feet parallel, and you're just gonna peel up the base of your spine. Come on up, lifting your chest, and then bend at your elbows, so you look like a bit of a robot. Lift your hips a bit higher, and draw on the inhale of your chest towards your chin, and your knees are going to drive towards the front of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen. So you're trying to open the whole front body here. You'll feel a lovely stretch all down the front of your hip flexors and your quads. Also across your chest, across your heart, across your collarbones as you're lifting and breathing. And squeeze that block. Inhaling. And exhaling. You can, if you like, come up onto your toes, lifting a little bit higher. Just strengthening your back body. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly peel your spine down. One vertebrae at a time if you can. Just very, very smoothly. Rest the feet. Just be completely still. Remove the block. You're going to draw your knees in towards your chest and you're just going to massage your spine. Going forwards and backwards. Like this, it's a lovely massage. Such a great thing to do every day. You can do self massage now we've got all this time. So, literally drawing long strokes on your long bones towards your limb flan, coming into the centre of your body. And then, obviously, on your ankles and your elbow joints, you do circular motions. You can do it with any oil um, sesame oil, coconut oil, whatever you've got. Just do it every day. So good for your body. Really good. Now, last roll. Come on up into chair. Sink deep. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Nose towards the knee. Inhale. Lengthen long spine. Exhale. Jump to low plank. Come up to high plank. Push back to downward facing dog. Take the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee and open through the hip. 
draw the right knee to the right wrist, come down to half pigeon. So to start with your shin may be at 45 degrees, over time you might bring it up to 90. It doesn't matter where it is, what matters is that your pelvis is nice and centred, you're not collapsing on the right. So come up, sit up nice and tall, think about the right hip driving back and the left hip coming forward and just stay here. Now very slowly start to walk your hands down, forward and away. Just come as far as is comfortable for you and then just rest. your breath very smooth, just imagining any tension you're feeling in your hip right now start to soften. And then slowly walk your hands in, curl your left toes under, take the right leg back and just give it a bit of a shake, lower the right leg down, sweep the left leg up, bend the knee open through the hip. And then come forward, left knee to left wrist, extend the right leg back, same applies, keep nice and centred, draw the right hip forward, left hip back, and then slowly start to walk forward, as far as is good for you and your body, you can also use your block if you like, under your chest or under your forehead, and just lie down. Really connect deeply to your breath. Start to feel this gorgeous, bubbling sense of warm joy ripple through your whole body. You've created this. This is your prana, your energy, your life force. It's moving so freely now through the whole of your body. You're loving it. So just feel it effervescence inside of you. Deep, calm presence in the breath. And then slowly walk your hands in. Come on up. Sweep the right leg all the way around and forward, the left leg also. Reach your arms up to the sky, just lengthen, flex your feet. Just exhale, gently fold forward. Don't force this, just fold. Just allow your body to be very passive and soft. Just relaxing down. You can bend your knees. And then wherever you are, just slowly now roll up to a seated position. And then roll all the way down, slowly. And then lift your arms above your head. So extend your arms long, your feet away from you. Tense everything. Screw up your feet, screw up your hands. Go, oh, squeeze, 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 squeeze your bottom. Squeeze your thighs, really squeeze. And then release. Good, one more time. Tense, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze everything in your whole body. And then release. Now draw the knees in, take your feet hip width distance apart so they're the width of your mat. Then at the same time drop the knees to the right, drop the right ankle or lift the right ankle on top of the left thigh and look over the left shoulder. Just enjoy the gentle release in your lower back. And then come back, right foot down, drop your knees to the left. And then the left foot on top of the right thigh, take your gaze over the right shoulder and just enjoy this gorgeous release you're feeling all down the right side of your body. So good. And then just come now into your Shavasana. So extend your legs long, extend your arms long and just be still. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let your whole jaw be soft. And let your whole body sink a little bit deeper into the mat beneath you. As you lie here, completely 
surrendering to the earth. And it leads you a meditation. It's one that's circulating a lot right now. I think it's so beautiful and so relevant. So I thought I'd share it with you. Just stay completely relaxed on the earth. And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows and the people began to think differently. And the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new, to new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. Just slowly now, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, maybe rotating your wrists. And draw your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a lovely hug, a beautiful squeeze. And then just roll onto your right hand side, curled in a little ball. And then slowly bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Shoot your arms all the way up. Look up and seal in all the things that you are grateful for today. And bring that prayer of seal, joy and positivity down to the centre of your heart. Just draw your chin in towards your chest. Just bowing to yourself, thanking yourself for giving yourself this time on the mat, carving it out of the day. To take yourself away from whatever you were doing. And to move your body with breath and ease. thumb knuckles to your forehead center. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember, subscribe and like. I can't believe I just have to say that, but I do. Subscribe and like. Namaste. Thank you.